Hey guys, um, today I want to show you, uh, it's a quick little how-to of um, using your little uh, TV tuner SDR um, on an Android device. Um, using an app called SDR Touch. Okay, so as you see here, you're going to need, of course, your Android phone, your tuner. I have it hooked up to a J-Pole uh, hanging on the wall behind me. Uh, this is called a USB OTG, or on-the-go cable. Um, this basically lets you hook up a USB device to your Android phone that supports it um, to connect the SDR, obviously. And here I've got a USB hub that's powered. Um, I need this because the Android phone itself cannot provide enough power um, to the SDR to function. So you basically hook the uh, um, hub up in between so pretty simple here hook up the hub usual usb it's gonna go right in the bottom of the device there. all right uh, we gotta get this plugged in okay see how we're plugged in you'll see the blue light come on um the little sdr so that's powered so now we're gonna go ahead to our phone dirty all right um and there's two actually two apps you're gonna need the first is called let's see if we can get this in there first is called sdr touch um and the second one is this driver here um it's the rtl 2832u driver they're both available in the google play store um, and you need both so you go ahead um once they're downloaded um you're in the uh, sorry, and they're free also. That's that's a pretty big thing. There, there's a paid version of SDR Touch. We'll see in a second um, what that partially what that gives you. I've got the free version. So you're gonna go ahead and open SDR Touch. I agree with this kind of interface. All right. I'm gonna go to this off. If you go to and it's gonna ask you about the driver. Of course, you want to say okay. It's gonna activate it, and you can hear. There, so I'm gonna go, um, I was messing around with this earlier, but I'll go to wide um, FM, and let me, you can set the megahertz, so I'll go in and set it like uh, around the broadcast band somewhere. So you can hear something kind of, uh, you can hear it, <laughs> obviously. Now, see if this is missing towards using SDR on your computer is the spectrum that makes this much easier to tune in. If you hit spectrum, there it'll show it to you. Um, and um, there's all the settings on the right there that you can mess with. But if you notice, there's a timer ticking down. Um, on the free version, you've got limited view um, at the spectrum. I believe that's every time you start the app that gives you so long. So for what that's worth, um, and you'll see in a second, it just disappears. Um, there you go. Viewing the spectrogram requires a pro version. I'm not this feature, I'm more of paying by purchasing a pro key. So if you go to get the key, opens up the Play Store, 10 bucks to buy the key. Um, so yeah, you can decide if you want that. And really to make this that usable, you're gonna probably need it. But um, it works, you can set presets. Oh, no, that's another pro feature. Um, you can set your mode, of course. You've got kind of all the standard things. Um, let's see, yeah, you got your offset settings, remote squelch, record, so help, so exit. So, you know, you got everything. Um, of course, it supports the range of frequencies that your tuner does. Um, this is the E400 trip chip-based tuner. I only opened it up to confirm that. So yeah, that works. Um, that's that's kind of neat. Um, it's kind of rough to use in terms of, you know, like actual usability. It's not the most convenient thing, um, but it works. It's kind of a neat thing. Um, so I thought I'd do a quick little video since it's so, it's really pretty easy to get going. So um, the big thing to remember here on your device is it has to support the USB OTG connection. Um, I believe most of the newer Android devices do. 
can look that up online. And of course, I'm sure people will, there's probably lists of what does and what doesn't. And it's also important that you have a powered hub um, to power the device. So, but other than that, it's pretty easy. Um, so yeah, so uh, let me know if you have any questions or anything. Um, just find something neat or something with this. Um, I know there's, there's some other things on Android you can do with these SDRs. There's someone working on an ADSB tracker, which I, he's got a beta out, which I gave a shot. Um, didn't work that well for me, um, but didn't really get a lot of time to mess around with it. The beta is like $1.50, so I might mess around with it again later, but it exists and they're hoping to improve it, obviously. Um, but yeah, so I think there's gonna be a lot more, I'm gonna see a lot more of these kinds of things on Android now that people have gotten started. And this isn't anything new, this has been out for a while, but uh, I just recently actually tried it. Um, actually, I was waiting to get this hub because I had everything else here at college except the hub. So I had to wait till I went home and then had some time to play with it. But yep, so that's it. Like I said, let me know if you have any questions and uh, see you later.